My name is Daniel DiCapua, and I'm a physician at Yale University. Today we will be discussing Guillain-Barre syndrome. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a monophasic disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the peripheral nervous system, classically the myelin. This leads to various degrees of abnormal sensation and weakness, which typically begins distally and will gradually ascend. The weakness can be severe and lead to paralysis of the appendicular and axial muscles. Weakness of the pharyngeal and respiratory muscles can be life-threatening. Overall, the incidence is approximately one to two cases per 100,000 per year. Approximately two-thirds of cases of Guillain-Barre are preceded by a febrile illness, classically a GI or upper respiratory illness. Often, the infection precedes the symptoms of Guillain-Barre by several weeks. The clinical presentation is often marked by the onset of a sensory disturbance, typically back or dysesthetic limb pain. Rapidly evolving symmetric limb weakness is classic. Loss of tendon reflexes is the hallmark of the disorder. Absent or only mild sensory signs, despite their sensory symptoms. Variable autonomic dysfunction and bowel and bladder are spared. The diagnosis is a clinical diagnosis. It is based on cytoalbuminologic dissociation in the cerebral spinal fluid. MRI of the spine may reveal nerve root enhancement, and nerve conduction study will often reveal slowed conduction velocity of impulses traveling along the nerve. The disease course. Weakness can develop abruptly over days or more subacutely over weeks. About 75% of patients reach their weakest point or their nadir within two weeks. The plateau phase can last days to weeks, and the recovery phase generally happens over a period of months. The majority of patients recover completely. While there is no cure for Guillain-Barre, both plasma exchange or IVIG can be used. There's no benefit to using them both together. Treatment reduces the time necessary to walk unaided and get off a ventilator by about three to four weeks.